We're on your side at six with a breaking update on those trash troubles we have been telling you about. We have heard your complaints about your trash not being picked up in some cases for weeks. Yes, yeah, so tonight we are talking to leaders trying to get some answers from Amways, the company at the middle of so much of these issues and taking a closer look at what is causing them. Our Bria Chapman has been covering the story for you all week. Went out there today demanding some answers, Bria. Yeah, that's right, Jonathan. So I was able to sit down with Vice President Rick Sweeney to address neighbors' concerns and complaints. Now, that's about when it comes to getting their trash picked up on time. Now, Sweeney tells me they are hard at work getting caught up from that holiday backup, but some neighbors tell me their garbage continues to pile up. Hi, Priya. This is Debbie Hutchinson. Uh, they have not picked up our garbage as of yet. Calls like this led to me traveling to Amway's office to see if I could find some answers on what's causing delays and trash pickup all over Jefferson County. Amway's Vice President Rick Sweeney. We also experienced some mechanical failures uh, unexpectedly. Sweeney says those issues paired with an increase in the amount of garbage from the holidays cause problems, and he understands neighbors' frustrations, but some say these problems were around before the holidays. Sweeney says recent changes in their billing process may be to blame. We, we changed our uh, our payment procurement system that um, is much more user friendly. We tend to get our phone lines bogged down a little bit when we do send out our quarterly billing. Um, so we do now offer an automated payment system through the phone. Now recently, Sweeney says they did increase the quarterly amount for customers to a little over $60. And the people I spoke to weren't happy about it. But he explains why it was necessary. Fuel was a big driver of that for us, as you can imagine, uh, um, with the amount of equipment we run and, and fuel being a, a large expense that we have. It has, it, it's an adjustable rate um, that is quarterly reviewed. And Sweeney shares this message with those still waiting to get their garbage collected. Sincere apology. Um, I, you know, we hold ourselves to a very high standard and when, when we don't meet those standards, it's frustrating for us. Um, and, and so please know that our team is working tirelessly, um, you know, almost around the clock uh, to ensure that, that we provide the service that people expect from us and, and that people are paying for. Yeah, so hopefully things are moving in the right direction. Now, one of the neighbors I did talk to yesterday, they told me Amway said they would be by today, no later than 7 o'clock to get her trash. She tells me they were there by 2.30. And Sweeney says they will continue to work throughout the night and then again bright and early tomorrow morning to get caught up from the holidays. Reporting live in Birmingham, I'm Bria Chapman, WBRC, Fox 6 News on your